what's up guys walk here so today we're gonna play some Alan Wake 2 um, I've never played Alan Wake 1 in my life uh, it's gonna be one of the games well not one of the games the first game we're gonna play in the, my upcoming series in the next week or so uh, there's gonna be old games I've never played so stay tuned for that and uh, yeah super super stoked to start this adventure with you guys and uh, yeah let's go so, I guess we're gonna go on normal. I won't get cocky. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. story there are only victims and monsters and the trick is not to end up as either but trapped by the genre we are all ripped to pieces along the way this is not the story I hoped it would be this is not the ending I wanted this story will eat us alive this story is a monster and monsters wear many faces. look like old but at, he looks like a newborn at the same time I don't know newborn ish with a beautiful hair crown can I shake it dumbass game if I can't even shake ass in 2023 that's lame as hell Subscribe to my OnlyFans. Two dollar. That's all it costs. Come on now. But no, on a serious note, why the fuck are they ain't helping me? Like, y'all sit dirty ass naked man on the beach, and y'all don't at least be like, "Are you okay?" No, nothing. God damn. <laughs> I'm bare cheeks, bro. So how am I supposed to win? If, if I have to fight the wolves, I don't. I have no idea I'm gonna do that shit. Like. Whoa! 
This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault people get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. Deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. So, what an intro. What an actual intro. That was, uh, that was crazy. I really want to know who the fuck was that naked motherfucker, but... I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. So I guess uh, this game's gonna be crazy. Hey, over here. Hey 
there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... And sorry, guys, I'll find a way Tech to fix that right uh, gameplay recording thing popping up. My partner Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. Should be done by it, next episode. It's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. I was just too excited to start playing the game. I've been... I had that game in the backlogs for like a week and a half, so it was time we played that shit. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. <laughs> they were fucking, like... <laughs> that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while Skinny ago. Skinny dipping raw doggers. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know, inside. My guy, my dog could have said that better. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, Winkie. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. You could just, like, walk us there. What happened? You too scared to go back? You think they gonna take your heart? Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. What clues you ain't seen shit. You don't wanna review with me? No problem, my guy. I need to think through the facts of the case. Case board into the mind space. The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. All right, so I guess the that's uh, on the, board. the base mechanic of uh, Alan Wake, which I know nothing about because I guess I've been lacking. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Okay. Okay. So, all victims reported missing in 2010. No other coming. Okay. Okay. We'll go over each of them really uh, fast. You're uh, anybody, everybody, y'all free to skip that part. There's no problem at all. I'm just making sure everybody get to see it for the people that likes to read all that stuff. hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? 
You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm hmm Real funny, Anderson. Uh, I like that guy. Crazy humble. Crazy humble. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? Like that. I'm not that old. <laughs> hey, yo, I heard your bones <laughs> crack, bro. That was crazy with his old ass. So um, I'm gonna start off with 30 minutes episodes. If y'all want me to make them shorter, I can. If y'all want me to make them longer, not a bad I place can. to get so murdered. Give me any tips, opinions, whatever y'all think about the content. Let me know if y'all have ideas for games you want me to play. Damn. Shoot. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Boy. But since honestly we lost a lot of time in the beginning with like the prologue and shit, um, I might make this one 40 Hi. minutes. Much as well, I will make this one 40 Deputy minutes. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. He was sounding real pussy a couple minutes ago. I think he so, was pussy, that's why he, FBI, he all huh? tough, huh? That's up. so cool. No, I mean. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Thornton, he's joking. Let's just see this body, shall we? Mmm. Okay, show now, me the pee. <laughs> <Found him on laughs> Oh my, no. look at this. Oh, they just Thanks, left it deputy. there. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay, let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? I think so. I ain't reading myself. Step I made y'all read it. Examine the corpse. Okay, how do I examine the corpse? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Okay. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? I think not. Okay. I can get or that's all I get okay let's start with the gash well, inside stab wound chest cut open stab wound. heart removed okay the killer left the heart right next to the body bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down all right Doesn't make sense. Okay, 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 okay. So, yes, open question. Okay, mm -hmm. he 
Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Okay. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Um, I actually am really interested into uh, their uh, case uh, building system. It's really interesting. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? I'm kind of an idiot, so like I'm making it harder, but you know. Super interesting system. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Okay. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Prince indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Okay, for later, I guess. Is there something I'm missing? Because I got the two other little little papers I have. But they say for later, so. Okay, we'll keep looking. Is there something back there? I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Not nasty at all. What are those triangles? Because I think I saw another one. Like, yeah, what are... Those are probably a puzzle. Okay. Is there a puzzle somewhere? There's gotta be. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Um. Okay, what? They're tripping me to the fuck out. There's gotta be some puzzles somewhere near. And I can't look on the other paper. Okay, so um, if we ever find out, we'll go back to that. Okay. Anderson, hey, let's get back to work over here, can we? A creepy twit sculpture? Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. It says wash your hands, take the chicken out the fridge, and take a nap. Okay. So, can I wash my hands up here? Uh, 
this is gonna be amazing guys this is gonna be beautiful y'all are not ready for this level of idiocy and nothing will be taken now can I like hit stuff like okay I guess I dodge like that Can I take the chicken out the fridge? Now they got me fucked up talking about kitchen, eh, uh, kitchen, chicken. Okay, then one more clue over there. More than one. Again. Y'all are free to pause it if you want to see. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Okay, weapon upgrade. Cool. So I really just want to find that fucking key for the box. It's talking about eating chicken and washing hands and shit. I have no idea what the fuck they mean, but... We gonna find out. I guess we're back at the beginning because they left a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type. So uh <laughs> begin to the beginning we are. Master detective out here. God damn. This place is ran down. I guess it doesn't open. Fuck. Bruh. Yeah, we're gonna say that space was like one bucket. Impossible. So that was the only clue there was? Hella far. So that's the murder site. So I'm slowly getting back there. The witch is high.
Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the ridi- A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. So what is it? Was it just there for that lame-ass joke? Uh, I'm just... I'm trying to resolve a case here. Am I the am I the only one trying to work? Ooh. Come on, guys. Anybody thinking I will be again. the slowest to resolve any Who's case leaving there? These out here? I probably will. I 100% will. I think just having to use the few neurons I got left is already, already a huge hurdle. <laughs> see where we are somehow I made it fucking further I don't get it do I have to hold for the map yes I think so okay where am I going bro I am actually I can't use a map I can't use a map in real life, and I can't use it in a in a game. I need Dora's map. Yeah. See, the strongest navigator. I actually got lost. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. All right. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Okay, so I think as a detective myself, now at least. Sure. Need to think about it. As a detective myself, my guess is uh, uh, the cop are uh, kidnapping people and uh, hunting them. That's what my expertise is telling me. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Okay, so let's have the clues we already found. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. 
Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Very interesting. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Okay, well, I'll just, uh... I'll just wait here. Okay. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly noon. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. What's you need that? to get out more. It is kind There's of... a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Mm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even, even if they, they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. All right, guys. I should profile Nightingale about this page. 
So uh, that's going to be it for the first episode. And uh, see y'all in episode two.